Hello, this is Ryan with Green Tech Manufacturing. Today we're going to show you how to properly clean our downdraft gasification outdoor wood boilers. The first thing you're going to want to do, if your unit isn't off, you're going to want to make sure you shut it off just so it can't kick on the combustion blowers. Second, go ahead and open up your heat exchanger door. and scrape all the excess ash into a fire retardant container. After that's completed, you want to go ahead and brush out each heat exchanger tube individually. And the tools, um, the tools are supplied with the unit other than the cordless drill. After that's done, I'll just take the dustpan again and I'll take the excess ash that I pulled out of the tubes and place that into the container as well. The rest of the ash has been pushed to the back of the stove. Now we'll go clean the back of the stove. Back of the stove. I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, rear door for the vertical heat exchanger tubes. It's very important that you clean uh, this stove weekly or bi-weekly depending on the amount of wood that you're using. The cleaner you keep these tubes, the more efficient the boiler is going to run. So I'll go ahead and take out the diffuser plate, set that off to the side. take the excess ash that we've pushed from the front of the stove to the back and also the ash that is collected up here from day to day operation. When I'm back here doing this I also like to 
just take a look at the blower, make sure everything's operating right, make sure everything looks proper as you're back here. Um, just for a, an extra means you're back here. I'll go ahead and run the vertical tubes now. It's important you get all the way down. You'll feel it when the brush gets through and then pull it all the way up the same way. Now we will pull some ash up as we lift that brush back up, so I'll go ahead and scoop some more ash out of here. And then I'll put the diffuser plate back in. And then the back door. Now we'll go to the front of the stove and all the ash that we've pushed down into the secondary combustion chamber will all come out the front. Now that we've finished cleaning all the heat exchanger tubes, we'll go ahead and clean out the secondary combustion chamber. I like to clean that out a little more often, about once every third day I clean that out just to keep it low on ash. Now that we're finished cleaning the stove, if you have any questions feel free to call us and we'll go over the unit with you.